right, adventurers, welcome back. It's been a minute. We did the Silver Saki video. Hopefully this one does just as well. Um, we're about to head downtown Sacramento. Very excited about that. Gonna hit up uh, actually Erica's favorite pasta spot called Adamo's. Uh, before that, we might go to 58 Degrees and get some wine. But Adamo's has fantastic homemade pasta. They actually have a really killer burger. I'm like torn between getting burger or pasta. Not quite sure, but uh, either way, definitely be satisfied. Um, and we're gonna leave soon, so catch up with us in a minute. All right, we're on to Adamo's. Just got downtown a little bit ago. A little bit of wine, walking down the street. Uh, this place is fantastic. So much good Italian pasta. The owner's very entertaining. The wines they have there are really delicious. Um, I'm gonna see what I wanna get. I don't know, they have a great burger with all the pasta and then we're definitely gonna try and get a charcuterie board. Theirs is outrageous for how much it is. So we're turning on to, oh, here we go. All right, so we're walking up. It's kind of like a weird location in between a liquor store, a subway, and a dry cleaner. The place is amazing. It's called Adamo's. It's right there. I can't get the camera going. I didn't get there to set up, but this is Adamo's. We go in here. It looks a little crowded. See if we get some seats. All right, try this again. The charcuterie board is ridiculous. It's got pickled onions, goat cheese, which Erica won't eat, but fresh pine nuts. It's got the, the roasted uh, crostinis, which are bomb. It's got some grilled peaches tonight, some prosciutto. It looks like they got some uh, pecorino romano, some um, uh, like parmesan. We got all kinds of cheese going on here. It's going to be really, really good. This place is fantastic if you've ever been here. Adamo's downtown. Uh, o. The P. No, I did it wrong. Eric got the P and 18. That's going to be great. I want to show you. Alright. We got the bite. The goat cheese. The pecorino manos. Cheetos. Pine nuts. I'm going to take a bite of it. Yeah. Mm. No, that's my point. So, like, I wasn't disparaging the people in the blanket, but what I'm saying is like, it's crazy the price point. You gotta message, mention the price point. Here. You get this giant, giant charcuterie board. It's literally $14. Anywhere else to go for a charcuterie board like this, it's like 30 bucks. 25, 30 bucks. It was ridiculous. It's the craziest charcuterie board for how much it is. Best price point in Sacramento. If you come down today, they threw some like fresh peaches on there, a bunch of bread, all kinds of crustines, get some brie and stuff. 30 bucks. That's ridiculous, but for $14, killer point. Here we go. The Damos, downtown. Eric got a little uh, succulent piece of salad. It had uh, roasted peppers in it. We're trying to save some room for everything else. It's got some um, goat cheese, some brie, some pecorino mono. Really, really good. Put a salumi. I'm going to throw it on here. Get a big bite. It's got the pickled peppers. It's going to be bomb. Pepper, so juicy, so so juicy. But yeah, you know, it like leaked all of my hand. It's so juicy. That's about as much. Back on. Get another bite. They had a prosciutto on there. It was really good. Yeah, it was really good. Best charcuterie board you could get. Best end up also in town. I don't know how you fit this many muscles and clams in this. This thing is ridiculous. So, we're about to eat this up here. Kind of mow down, eat as many of these as I can. I'm going to get the bread off there so they get It's like a crazy. It looks fantastic. I just got done talking to the owner. 
I'm very excited about the video. But these things are ridiculous. Like there's so much seafood in the platter. The clams, the mussels, and the broth is stupid. Like maybe we can't even talk to that. The owner's son, he's a chef. He's come out here and get, get on this video. Well, this is crazy. Like, if you just sit here, it's non stop deliciousness. So savory, so sweet, so salty. Yeah, so So, so good. Alright, so on top of it is homemade cornbread, and it's got so many tomatoes, onions, and Kind of ridiculous. That's so delicious. It's like eating the sweetest, the sweet, the most delicious, the delicious. The place like a hole in the wall, gold. And it was like if you were wanting something that is homemade, fresh, uh, savory, and at a great price point, this is the place you gotta come. Adamo's. Do it. Pack this place every night. They'll feed you good. This seafood platter I got here is like fourteen dollars, and it's stock full of broth. That's amazing. Sausage, mussels, and clams. Plus that blend of cornbread. Oh, it's so fantastic. So we're here at Adamo's. We got the chef here. Chef. Hey, how you doing? How's it going? Uh, we're eating the mussels and clams. He threw it on the menu. First time I've ever eaten it. Usually I get the burger. The burger is amazing. It's so, so good. I mean, for an Italian place, best burger I've had in town, hands down. You got the fries with it too? I've eaten it, eaten it three times, and every time I take a picture and everybody's, everybody's amazed by it. So We had the burger battle, so. Yeah, so we're, we're looking forward to trying that at the burger battle. The burger battle win. September 12th. September 12th. Everybody should come to the Burger Battle, yeah, eat Adamo's burgers, yelp them out, post them up, put them on Facebook, YouTube, whatever you got. But if you have time, come down. They got the charcuterie board, which is their anti pasto ridiculous price. He kills it, and right now I'm eating the mussels and clams. It's the most ridiculous thing I've eaten here. So many mussels and clams. Yeah. For the same price, my 14 bucks. It's ridiculous. Nobody sells that here. It's ridiculous. So say thank you, chef. He a shirt. Love that. Yeah, and he's just rocking it on a uh, Friday night. And we're gonna say thank you. My name is Dick. Dick. Follow Adventures with Dick. Awesome. And uh, it's a little food vlog on YouTube for all of the local places that we love, and we love this place. So awesome. if you follow. And what's your right. thoughts about it? Oh, I love like mussels and clams. He loves the mussels and clams. Yeah. Look at that thing. Cornbread. Awesome. Made with polenta. Polenta cornbread. What's on top of it? Uh, tomato sofrito. Yeah. So good. Very simple. But yeah, the pizza pasta board is a steal. Dude, that's ridiculous. So you go there, that's 30 bucks or more anywhere you go. You go there, it's like 13 I think. Yes. It's, it's the most ridiculous price ever. No. These guys rock it. They got amazing wine, beer. I'm sorry? What's your idea behind making that price? Like? Well, you know, you should be able to eat and be full and happy without, you know, doing a mortgage payment. Yeah. You know? Is that, is that regarding it later? Yeah. <laughs> you should be able to go out a couple times a week and have lunch. Right. Yeah. This is a little the hole in the wall between a liquor store, a laundromat, and we found it randomly one night. It is the best find you could ever find in downtown Sacramento. Yeah. So, yeah. Thank you, Chef. We totally appreciate well, you coming you through. Much. Yeah, we're going to finish up these dinners, and uh, you guys come check out Adamo's, downtown Sacramento. It's fantastic. So, Thanks, guys. Go. Thanks so much. Appreciate it, yeah. Appreciate it. Alright, we've literally been sitting here for a very long time, eating this bowl of clams and mussels, and it's not going anywhere. There's also the sausage in there, just talk to the chef for a little bit. Awesome. The broth is so amazing. Such a good seafood broth. Uh, can not Adamo's, the burger, the pasta, everything's fresh made. 
the burger is fantastic with the the toppings and stuff. The uh, seafood broth here is stupid good. Like if I had noodles to put in here, it would be amazing. Very good guy. Carbonara, I can't even finish it, but it's so amazing also. Um, a charcuterie board. The price points are ridiculous. Go anywhere else, you're paying 100, 200 bucks. This place, Adamo's. So fantastic and amazing. You gotta try it out. Everything's so balanced, so well made, so home homely. Like if you're eating dinner in your own home. So this is still ridiculous. Like I'm just still eating nonstop clam muscles. So many muscles, so many clams. Like I don't know any place in town you get fourteen dollars worth of muscle clam that fills up an entire plate. You get like six each. And that flavor, the freshness with the salmon, or the sausage, and with the uh, broth is so good. You gotta see the plate of mussels. So ridiculous, so full. So man. Like, you just literally eat this for two, three hours. We still have charcuterie board left and the sofrito with the warm bread. And I'm getting so full. America's done. We're just hanging out right now. I'm trying to fit as much as in my belly as I can without regretting it. Putting a lot of work on this fish dish, a every shellfish possible. Uh, this is the last bite. Here we go. Oh man. With the fennel and the green onions and the regular onions. So, so savory, so delicious. So, like, you just want to, like, drink the broth with a straw. I'm going to sit here and drink it with my spoon. But, this is the spot you need to come. Especially with the cornbread, sofrito. Chef, amazing, 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 so amazing. I'm here. All right, super excited, super full. But we got to talk to Chef earlier, Chef Paul Adamo. He uh, decided to come out and offer some dessert, so we're gonna uh, hit it up and see how much we can actually finish before our bellies explode because their food is so amazing. Uh, he just kills it with everything. Dinner tonight was phenomenal, and for the price point, it's the most ridiculous thing ever. You go to an Italian restaurant like this, you're blown, breaking your wallet for what we got tonight, and it's it's not like that here. So Damos, come here, keep saying it. Um, they're so nice, so friendly. We'll see what we get. Right. Chef taking off for some dessert. Working on it right now. We might bring it in a moment, but it might be pretty warm. Here it comes. Got him on video. Hopefully he's ready for this. Let's see what he's got to say about this. Got you on video. Bring it out. Oh my god, it looks phenomenal. So what we got here? It's, uh, what is it called? Uh, lemon, almond, polenta cake, gluten-free, with uh, like a whipped marshmallow and roasted peaches. Oh wow. Uh, it's just a cake recipe I've been working on for a while for good free people. So this batch came out really good. So, well, so you so, guys offer good free options here? Yeah, we do have good free options here. <laughs> One of my favorite things on the menu is good free actually. The meatball polenta. Really? I mean, polenta is always really good. But. Yeah, most people use breadcrumbs in their meatballs and we use uh, dried polenta instead. Nice. So it's actually a yeah, 100% good free. 
Holy cow. Blue free planta. There you go. Meatballs. Yeah, I'll try it. So well, thank you. came out particularly good, so I just gotta remember how I did it now. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're on film now, so now you have to remember it. Everybody coming for it. <laughs> thank you so much. Appreciate it, Chef. The cake, it's mascarpone, mascarpone, and uh, what is it? Peaches. Yep. So excited to try this. It looks really good. Got Paulo Adamo came out, picked us up with some cake, thrown out there. So we yelp them out a whole bunch. Here we go. Do you want the rest? You want the So ridiculous. Yeah, it's so savory. The sweetness with the marks of foam. The whip marks foam. You have to have that peach on there, the caramelized peach. It's literally like, it's like a No, it's like a peach cobbler. But without the crunchy, like if the crunchiness comes from the polenta, it's outstanding. Like if, if you come here, if he he continues to make it just like this, it's gonna be sold out again a day. I I guarantee it. This thing, one more bite. Oh, man. That's so good. Can't yeah, stop. So crunchy. Yeah, you have multiple gluten options out there. Anything that I do. So so good for a but when you come to a town place that's all natural, all homemade, you don't expect non-gluten options and gluten-free options or anything like that. Even anything other than pasta. And this is terrific. It's so, so terrific. It's one of the best desserts I've had in a long time. Alright, back on this. This polenta cake you made. Gluten-free. I love gluten. Anything with gluten in it, I'll eat and devour. But this thing has the crust, it's got the flavor of the cake, the moistness, um, the candied peaches, and the mascarpone. So phenomenal. Chef nailed this. He, he kind of came out and asked if we wanted dessert. And he said he didn't really know what he did different with this one, but they came out so good. So if you come here, you gotta ask for this dessert. I'm not quite sure if it's on the menu, but I was at the uh, Terminusu and other different desserts. But this one is uh, gluten free, which is crazy because I love gluten. I love gluten to death. I always eat gluten for the rest of my life. But this thing, gluten free, you may even know it's not in there. It's fluffy and airy and savory at the same time, sweet, tangy. I love it. I can't stop eating it. Erica won't share it with me. I'm gonna eat the whole thing and then regret it later. But all I gotta say is Adamo's has different twists on conventional Italian and still traditional Italian, gluten-free options, tons of beers, and friendly staff. The chef is doing great. I'm gonna show the staff right now. They're not paying attention because they're on camera, but she's right there. She doesn't see herself on there. But she being on camera, she's saying hi. <laughs> but you come, Erica's dodging the camera. She's friendly too. Um, everybody's there, everybody's having a good time. It's fantastic. Around the corner from a few bars and conveniently located by uh, Holy Diva, which is like a concert venue. So many things going on for this place. You gotta come here, eat this dessert, eat their pasta, eat their shellfish. Adamo is fantastic. Chef Paulo and his father Adamo. So amazing. So for now, I'm full. I'm I'm damn full. And it's about to be done. So have a good night.